So who's taking the minutes? I'll do it. <laughs> awesome. So, so you have to say who's here. So someone I, so I want to call to order. Wait, can we call it to order? We call the meeting to order. We call the meeting to order, right? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Um, so the, I guess we have to discuss the venture project thing. So that guy who I didn't know who was who emailed me last time, David Teeple, is apparently a really awesome guy and has like done a lot of the public art projects in Northampton. He said something about doing something with the, um, you guys know where the, the, the bridge with the train on it and oh, stuff, yeah. and the truck, and then the truck hit the truck again, which is really funny. Um, the but, the one where it's like too low and now it has the river on it? Yeah. By Fitzwilliams? Yeah. Oh, he did the, he did the river. Yeah, that, okay. he said something about a river. That's what it was. He made the river. He did the river one, and Sam Ostroff did the other side with the hot air balloons. The only the problem is the tree is weird. Noted. <laughs> Weird. I'll write that so, so this guy, I don't know how old he is, but he sounds like uh, he's. I think I looked him up on Facebook or on no, his, he has like a website, but he seemed like he was kind of older. But he, when I talked to him, he just sounded like he sounded like this enthusiastic like ten year old, which I think is really awesome. Like he was so pumped, like he was more excited than me. He was like, he just like wanted like everything in the world. Anyway, so he more or less what he said is you don't really have to worry about anything because people are going to end up doing it the only thing that really matters is you need to make sure that the mayor is on board and that he already email back. so yeah so I'll, I'll get that next and that um like you know the money is all going to end up happening and stuff so and he also said he would be interested once we once we sort of have like approval for this and everything he would love to come I, I guess try and come to all of our meetings and he would he wants to like help out in any way he can and try and lead all that and he says he knows artists and stuff and um, if we shoot for something I think it's like 20, between twenty and thirty benches which is what I'm approximating is around downtown and you know, such like, areas. How many, how many did they do anything there? There's there's a lot of areas. I think they did. What did I say last night? I said something. Like I envisioned it being like, oh, it was ninety. I envisioned it being like fifteen matches, like not. Yeah, like. like yeah, we, but I mean, more we can just like yeah, just fine. Fine. I don't want that many bears. <laughs> yeah, like over yeah, ninety bears. With thirty-eight of them are to the school, so it's fifty-two. So, so what can you do with all those bears? Well, people well, that's what doing. The problem. That's, that's what doing because people ran out of things to do with bears. It was legal anyway. Yeah. So he said um, he was going to go look at one of those slotted benches and just sort of look at that. And he says um, that there would probably be enough people out there just interested in just doing like painted designs and stuff. They wouldn't even have to do something crazy. And I mean, I think like if you're like a good painter, yeah, you can like make it. For well, that's what you're saying is like you don't need to worry about this. These artists, like that's what they that's what they do. Like they'll figure it out. And he said also. It won't be that bad to say just give them a week, a week where you're expecting no rain, and just say go do it out on the streets, and also give opportunities to sort of be like a preview to it, and they'll figure it out. I mean, it's not like they're doing something crazy, so it doesn't need to be taken up, and it's one less cost because it would have to cost money for them to pick up all the benches, and he's just sounded very positive about it. That's David Teeple. Yeah, that guy. He's so he's just so pumped about everything. He was so uh, <laughs> he's a happy guy. He does really look. Well, he, he looks, looks like a ten year. He looks like he'd be so big and hot. Yeah, well, that's how you talk. He sounded, I, maybe he hasn't been doing much work lately or something, but he sounded like he was very excited about it. He really liked the idea. Um, so, about the mayor. So, I emailed the mayor, and um, what is Cindy's official title? Cindy Murphy, yeah. uh, but she's the mayor's secretary. Okay, yeah. So she emails back, and she's like, "I'll talk to the mayor about it and see like what he thinks." As in, like, we don't have to meet with him, or like she'll think, like she'll tell him that we want to meet. Him. It seemed like a combination of the two. Was my impression? She'll be like, "Does this idea suck? Slash, do you want to meet?" Yeah, yeah. Like so, like if it doesn't suck, would you want to meet with him? That that was my impression of it. Um, so then I said, can you get back to us when I find out? And then she's like, yeah, but then I never did. Which also could be because it was right before, I mean, it was the week, it was the Wednesday 
before the Wednesday of Thanksgiving or the Thursday before Yeah, he was in Florida. Yeah. So. so so, yeah, no, so I sort of, I, I was kind of assuming that that was probably a big reason why, because he can't really meet with us because he's in another state. Um, so, do you know when he's heading back? He's back. Oh, he's back. Yeah. So I'm maybe back. I'll send her an email again and be like, so the mayor's back in town. You want to So, that's kind of like the most important thing before we do anything. Because if he's kind of on board with it, then I think we're pretty much like... Well, if he's kind of not, then we have to like scrap it. Yeah, but if, if he's on board, I think... I we're going to make it, him be on board. I think it's pretty much fine, and then we just have to do all those things, like create a concept and start pitching it to like the DBWs, the DPW. We probably want the DPW to be happy. We probably want city council to be happy. And we want the arts council to be happy. We don't need anyone else to be happy, right? Everyone else is well, happy. I mean, it's good. You want the business to be happy because oh, you don't yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And so by the way, they had that big meeting last night about the bid oh. the hotel. And um, so they had over 100 people, downtown businesses and stuff. Uh, I wasn't there, but clearly there was a desire by the um, business community to try and improve and enhance circumstances downtown. So I think this will tie in perfectly for that. I think it's mm -hmm. provides them with an event. It gives them something that reinforces. Like is Arts Night Out still going to be a thing? Because we thought. Yeah, we were I mean that. that was separately sponsored, but it was sort of I think the bid was managing it. But for the most part, yeah. Same thing in Florence is a Florence Night Arts Night Out, but it's a different group. But I suspect that will still go. I mean, the biggest concern was who's going to shovel the sidewalks, who's going to clean the sidewalks. Blah, 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 which is actually the responsibility of the property owners, not so much the retailers. The property owners um, hopefully will get the memo and realize that they're responsible, just like if everyone's at home, it's responsible for shoving your sidewalk down the pavement full width of the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Which they don't do. Yeah, which they don't. Because I run on it <laughs> and it sucks. No, they don't do it. Uh, a lot of people don't do it. Okay. I do it. I've considered putting passive aggressive signs in their yards. <laughs> but I was just straight up aggressive. <laughs> yeah, like first first step I was gonna go passive aggressive and like shovel it for them and be like, This is what a good shovel job looks like. But well, you that, don't do this. That is passive aggressive, but that's yeah. actually a pretty interesting way to do it. Of course they may come to expect that every time they don't do it that you're gonna come by and clear it for them. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. um, so, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, oh, yeah. Since you just brought the BAB, did you did you see the article about like um, that? What's his name wanted to give the arts council some money to help the first night and Ellen Chai Yeah, and she was just sort of like, yeah, no, we don't really want your money. I think they were all so it was such an awkward quote. <laughs> it sounded so. I think they are paying for some money for the fireworks on first night. Um, they're not... No, I don't... I think it's... No, oh, they were they, they, they were... It was for lighting the lights. Right? Uh, one of them isn't a public funding, and one of them is the arts company. I think the arts... Yeah, no, yeah. No, the fireworks, they, they said they didn't want their money, but the um, the lights, they would take their money because the mayor made it like an open right. submission oh, money thing. Okay. But the mayor said they didn't he didn't want their money, but he had to take it because it was a public thing or something like that. It was, it was a really awkward article to read. It was just well, it's, these are awkward times. Yeah. Um, so awkward times. <laughs> yes. Uh, That's a new phrase. Um, yeah, so, so there's not an entirely enormous amount we can specifically do in regards to that really until the mayor said something. Were any of you guys, uh, did anyone actually do anything that we said we were going to do the last time? I did. You did? In five minutes, 20 five minutes, minutes ago. <laughs> okay, so the, so we need, one of the things that we need is the money, right? Like, we have to make sure that we have the money to do this. Right. But what are we doing money for? It's paying the artists. artists. Paying the artists, and so what David said is that supplies are not sponsored. Yeah, I thought business are we not doing that? No, yeah. I think that, that's Can we, is that still the plan? That, that would still be the plan unless if, like, some lawyer person says otherwise. Is that, is that something that, um, what's-his-face would know? Which what's-his-face? Um, 
<laughs> our lawyer person, the vice, the vice city council. Uh, well, um, oh, Jesse Adams. Yeah. Uh, what kind of lawyer? I don't know what kind of lawyer. He's, he's, a, he's a criminal lawyer, essentially. Oh, so he yeah. probably yeah. He doesn't know so much about public <laughs> art. No, oh, but so. we'll be criminals. <laughs> yeah, well, if you do it now, you'll be criminals. Right. Actually, yeah. if you start painting on the benches, then you'll be <laughs> criminals. You'll be facing public property, so. That'd be fun. <laughs> yes. yeah. I'm do, you, writing do you have any lawyer friends that would know something like that? Well, um, what, what is it you want to know? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm writing the like, letter to the mayor asking if we can. Uh, that's maybe, great. Yeah. Like, um, like, are we, are our businesses allowed to be sponsoring someone that's public, like the, the, for something that's public property? Um, okay, that actually we can talk to the city solicitor, who's paid city for the solicitor. solicitor, Alan Seawalt, and I'll and I'll have to ask him because, but I'll we can check. Okay. With that, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure that they can. I, I would think um, so too, but, but it, I mean, it, it'd be good it'd be to have a positive cover. Yeah, yeah. um, so, so once once we sort of hear from the mayor, I'd say it doesn't. I, I mean, it, it kind of depends how much money comes from the businesses that sponsor it. Like, I don't know how much we like charge them. What well, do you? Also, like, how much do the artists? Yeah, like yeah, so David people guess that it would be five hundred dollars per bench. I think it was four hundred to the artist and one hundred for supplies or something like that. If we got new benches. No, no. we use the benches that are already there. To like pay the artist to do it. Yeah. So, so, so what was the five hundred? So it's like four hundred to the artist. It's actually more like four fifty because they said the paints are probably going to be shared. Oh, I people. see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be like four fifty. Yeah, and then the rest of the money would be. And what about like, would we need money to like put on the event? Yeah, I was thinking if we have like an opening of the benches, like would we do something? Fireworks, fireworks, open bars. I feel like fireworks open like, bars. I think like, yeah, that's that's a good. Good. I think we're live gun fair. Fireworks. I think our city is pretty good at like donating. Like I feel like Carol's would be like, yeah, we can do some ice cream stuff for it, and people who did like art and music would be like, yeah, we'll come play music. I mean, like the brass band or whatever they kind of like. Expandable brass. Band. Yeah, I mean, like so I. I don't think, because all, all the Northampton sort of events, things I've normally gone to, it doesn't seem like that much money's gone into putting it on. It's just sort of like the things they have to actually purchase. The, um, you guys Good. actually have money. And we have money, too. You right. have some money, so and that will be, that be your seed money. Yeah. Um, and I would say that for terms like 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 commercial materials, yeah. exactly, and things like that. Yeah, because we're going to... Yeah. Because like if we get people to come and walk around. Right. First, you want to do you have to, you might be a cost associated with doing the solicitation of the artists. I think Harold's. We should definitely get them on board because yeah. ice cream might really draw people. And yes. the woman who owns it now, she's so awesome. That's Judy Harold. It's yeah. switched. Oh, well, she's she's, she's is that his wife? the ex-wife of Steve Harold, but they're still business partners. So she's that's really fun. Awesome. I built she's done a lot of stuff there. By the way, I built that. One of Beck and my other wife. You uh, built what? I built the interior of Harold's in their walk in box Whoa. and their original counter. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. and so it's, it's, That's so, it's cool. so cool. Steve so. Harold always came to talk about Late Star. Oh, yeah. yeah. He I has a huge yeah. beard. Yes, he does. <laughs> he looks like St. Nick. <laughs> yeah, I remember when he didn't have a beard and he had dark hair. Uh, Are you Ooh, serious? Yeah, That's how back I go. Oh, yeah, I've seen the, there's pictures in there. Yeah. Is it strange? Like it wasn't strange at the time. He definitely looks the the time though, because he has like the big kind of like yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um. So so those so the other so one thing I think is a tangible goal we can actually work on and do something this time would be talking to Miss Jaffe or Miss Leary. Miss Leary. Whichever's the one that's not scary. Uh, it's literally scary, but we'll get more done. Yeah. Who's she's, she's I'm, like, I'm scared of the Jeff. <laughs> okay. The Jeffy seems a little wrong. <laughs> Alright, so we <laughs> talked to Miss Leary. Remember, <laughs> this, is, this is going on community <laughs> access television. So. Wait, is this is aired on TV? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I, I want to like one yeah. day be flipping. No, I don't know <laughs> why I would be flipping past C-SPAN, because it's like far away right. from everything I watch. 
but and like to see us just talking be so weird. It would be weird. There's something you can watch it watch this. No. Uh, I have no idea. I, it's also available online. So I have no four. Idea. I'm always surprised Ten. when people watch Council. One. I mean, really. Can you just can you go to Council meetings? Yeah, yeah, you can go to Council meetings, or you can watch them. They actually live stream them online, and then they also um, replay them. Did something important happen at the last one? Huh? How? What's like the interest? Just to see if what we're voting on to keep us honest, I suppose, and then or if you're predisposed to really think we're jerks and just to watch it and go, yep, see, they're jerks. I just like that. Like, did, did something really important happen at the last meeting? I, feel like I don't know. I wasn't there. Ah. <laughs> I was in a plane at the time it was happening. I had Wi-Fi and I was thinking about streaming it, but then I thought, no. that seems like a <laughs> terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I'm going away. I don't need to watch. So, so that's something I think we could actually do to create a concept and, and like. What would we talk about? Be like, do you want to go look at a bench and sort of see what could happen with this, or like an idea, just be like. Would we? That. So would we be asking them like about feasibility, or if they would be interested in doing a bench, or just well, like, about idea. whether they think yeah. other. Sorry, do you want? That'd be so yeah, cool. They would just, just have to have a money concept. Money. Like, then we wouldn't have to pay them. Right. Yeah. But but no, just just to get a concept, because one thing I remember, like the arts council, they were saying, and all this guy said to David Tebow was like, if you could have some sort of like concept, and like if someone, I don't know, if you can like. Oh yeah, the young jerk guy, guy cool. the young long hair, annoying so, guy was like, you should have a picture. Like, I don't remember like him. He's very sassy. Don't I freedom of speech? <laughs> yeah, but you also freedom You're free speech. I'm just saying you have to own it. That's all. Okay, I'm down with that. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Like, I don't know how. Like, maybe it would be better to maybe find an art kid. So, just someone who could draw, paint, or computer graphicize a bench that would have some sort of design on it and look like what it could be in downtown. Okay. So when we so as to give artists ideas, and be like look at this artists, sick but bench also that you could when we talk to like city council, DPW, and arts council, and the chamber of commerce or businesses or whatever, however we talk to businesses, that we have something being like, isn't this kind of cool? And they're like, yeah, that is kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool if we did that, rather than just being like, so something could happen. That would be cool. That so be cool. I don't know if one's better than the other. We like ask. I can um I can go talk to Miss or Miss Lear. Who are, I don't know Ms. if Miss would want to draw something. So Miss Leary is the one who actually works with honors art. Right. So yeah. I'm thinking yeah, that's I could go talk to her because I've had her, but I don't have her in honors art. Right. So would it be that's weird to ask her like, could you like <laughs> sketch a design or something? I mean, I guess I could. Off, we if, if I don't know what we should ask. I mean, we could also probably ask David Tebow since he seems so psyched. I feel like he also wouldn't be against doing that. You have a couple types of benches too. I mean, like the one in front of City Hall is all black metal, and then you have ones that have wood slats. Um, Where do we have wood? Our benches don't look right. comfortable. They don't look comfortable. Well, it's better than just like those ones. At least they're like yeah, they're really yeah, like, yeah, you know, curvy. But. I don't know. The metal looks <laughs> scary. <laughs> <laughs> They're like waves. <laughs> but I mean, you have some opportunity to do something with that. To right. make them but look comfy. But I mean, all black metal is, and if you're just painting it, then you just need paint the whole stick and hole mm. and stuff. So like we can paint it to look like a couch. With and apparently, David Tebow, he, he has like that's a that's background cool. in like happy paints. What, what, does, that what does that mean? <laughs> no, it means like, that's what you like mean. Northampton wouldn't get angry because it doesn't have like dangerous toxins in it. Or oh something. yes! So you would be able to be like, we're promoting, yes, happy, we're promoting like good paint and stuff, and everyone in Northampton likes good paint. So I think that would also be a nice. You need to come up with better words than happy. It's supposed to huffing paint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy paint. Happy paint. It's really happy. <laughs> We have money in our bank. So wait, so do, what what did you do, do, do you think this is something like Miss Lee would do? Did I you, think I'll go like an assignment for our so. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Why? Yeah. I do think Are you in on Isaiah now? No. Okay. 
I think the high school should do a bench. I think the high school okay. slash youth commission should do a bench. High school. Yeah. Well, I mean, even the middle school. I mean, the middle school. Hell, yeah. even you know Jackson Street School, if they wanted to, if they you know if they even if it was putting on handprints. First of all, we have to do an inventory. Yeah, How many benches we got to do? Yeah, we need a. And um, then, you know, believe me, you know. The Nutcracker, for instance, figured out how to get people involved in stuff. What you do is you have every kid in the community be in the Nutcracker. Consequently, at least two parents and several pairs of grandparents all go to these events, right? Mm -hmm. If you have the grade schools doing the benches, mm -hmm. you'll get buy-in from all the parents and everything else. Same with the middle school, same with the high school. This is uh, one of the, yeah, and that's, and then we're talking about three benches, four benches. Right. And if there's an inventory of 60 benches, you got plenty of this room for everybody. So, so like what if? Yeah. So what if you talk to Leary and she you, she'll she'll do something or she'll make her class do something. Yeah. Either one's fine. Or she'll or she'll <laughs> I'll ask David T. What we did just to see if he'd want to do something. And then would any of you four or two of you want to possibly? I, well, maybe I don't know. Would it be better to ask someone? Do you think we have like a? map of downtown benches? Or well, that's, I mean, the Someone meeting with the mayor puts it, it transitions us to yeah. meeting with the DPW. Oh, yeah. We can get an inventory, and actually the mayor's office probably has an inventory of how many benches there are. Oh. There. There's yeah. like a secret yeah. file that says... So, so maybe yeah. that's yeah. not... So, so maybe yeah. really the only thing right now is to create an idea of what it could be, and there's not right. much else. I mean, what you're going to talk to the mayor is about is want to do these things of decorating the benches it would you know probably in all likelihood it sounds like what you guys talked about is just painting them mm -hmm. uh, and what that would look like yeah. uh, and where are they how many are there and no flags and that's going to be our flag no you can do flags I mean that's oh, the thing about public art I mean, you, can, you know it, this may spill over into the whole crosswalk issue but uh, yeah if you do the flag the the veterans uh, uh, council will probably get upset. Okay. If you do, America, well, like, that, you I mean, that's, other that's one but. thing that, like, we can. I think that the arts council sort of seem like they'd be willing to deal with is like deciding what will be the guidelines for it, so they can say like no profanity, no something that's like stupid, like yeah. they're <laughs> sitting on it. Was a and <laughs> oh, also yeah, one thing, stupid. I don't like that, it. Yeah. yeah. And one thing that was brought up last time also was that the artist might get kind of like bummed out that the paint's getting like chipped or something like that. Well, like you were sitting like, like what? But yeah. David Tebow said there's the, they'll suck it up because that's what it, that's what a public art I means. That's what kind yeah. of it, it comes with it. Oh, that's one that that could Modern be something that money yeah. could go toward. That would be one thing that might. So would the plaques be like on the bench or on the ground next to the well, bench, mean, or like would it be bench. incorporated into the design of the bench, or would Probably it be like a like physical? Because you know, well, like they, sometimes they're like, this park bench was in loving memory of. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. But what they've done with, with some memory. of these other things, like the lighthouses and the cows and the bears and stuff, is they actually paint the name of the sponsoring agency. So if it's such and such a store that's painted on. They're saying, you know, it's part of the design. Um, <coughs> it can't be an advertisement. I think that's kind of important. Yeah. You don't want somebody just make it look like Coca Cola or something like that, or Subway. That would really tick people off. It's so, got to be an original design. It's not an advertisement for a store, but it can be indicated that it's a sponsor by a particular, you know, Thorns or, or uh, Heralds or something like that. So, um, could slash should the theme of the bench not be linked to the theme of like the sponsor? No, I mean, for instance, if Harold's sponsor one and they wanted to do like an ice cream cone, mm -hmm. and I honestly don't see a problem with that, but maybe we'll have to talk to the city solicitor about that. Mm -hmm. But, but if it, was like a it shouldn't say, it should be an ice cream cone and then say come to Harold's on it. Okay, yeah. It, it could say this bench was sponsored by Harold's. Because um, like that's what the East Hampton Bears were like. No, I would say the business. Yeah, I think yeah, but, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. But it was like them or like resemble them, like had some sort of thing right. about them. Like one for Go Bear would probably have like, a fairy on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Still yogurt yeah. or something. Right? <laughs> or something. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that'd be really cool. They did like a three D kind of like painting thing that looked like there's just ice cream. Like, well, that's the thing is you that's uh, trompe Like an ice cream cone, like upside down. French meaning to fool the eye. It's those three D. 
paintings that look like they're actually real. You see people do it with sidewalk yeah, chalk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. And you like, it's like, Facebook. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So think about what you could do with a bench, for instance, it's got slats. If you do reverse slats, you can make it almost appear invisible if you paint in the background. To rhyme with the background. Wouldn't that be cool? If you did if you paint it similar to the background. So and it just bad. looks like there's a shadow of a bench there, but it looks so Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it was like the coolest ever like things in the lyrics that should get kids to do that because we have some really like we have good ideas. Talented artists. <laughs> no, yeah, I feel like stuff. that would think of stuff like that. There are two honors art kids in my history class, and I can ask her them make, like how to present it to her so that she'll like it. Yeah, make it like I, I think it'd be pretty because because they they keep trying the art class the art teachers keep trying to do things that are like trying to make the art kids like have their stuff presented. Yeah, so like this would be perfect. Of course, remember it's probably gonna be happening in the summer. So yeah. But as long as they have designs in place and stuff like that before school. But if it was like junior. There are. Yeah. She also probably have the like honors art four and not the honors art two kids do it. Yeah. Well, she, you know, or like she's doing she's grading. She can, uh, but she, yeah. if she's grading, she can grade the design as opposed to actually the painting until it mm -hmm. actually comes off. But she can say, design this, come up with a creative idea, do blah, blah, blah. Draw it out. Yeah, I mean, clearly you guys will be out of school by the time we start doing this, so. But they can get graded on their creative That's ideas, true. so. Yeah, whatever. I mean, whatever they end up deciding to do with that, it's like kind of whatever. For us, it's just to give some sort of thing to exactly. show people, make it look good. Exactly. Whatever they decide. So, unless anyone thinks there's like really anything else we can do until the mayor kind of says, yeah. We really yeah. The mayor. Well, I, I just emailed the mayor. I. Um, CC you guys, so we'll see what happens. Cindy's the one who actually processes yeah. this email, so she'll see it first. Ms. Murphy yeah, it is. Um, would, would you also be able to, well, I, I guess we'd con contact the city solicitor after. But yeah, the city solicitor will report. So pretty, much, pretty much we're just waiting on Mr. Markowitz. We'll see it. Yeah, he's What's had a lot on his plate up? lately, so. What's happening? Um, well, well the bids dissolved and yeah. the world well, ending pretty much. The bids dissolved and that was an art. Yeah, that's a, the guy uh, north on King Street. Was there a helicopter? Oh, there's that too. I don't know. I wasn't I here. There was a helicopter. Every time my dad goes for a run, there's always helicopters and like cops. And then I was like, Dad, what did you do? He's like, I'm just going for a run. And then like the cops went by. With that. <laughs> yeah, like, every time like, anything like major like has happened in the last like two years, my dad has like been on a run. <laughs> and then he doesn't go for runs that often. So that Some seems an uh, interesting coincidence. Fishy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, this, this is going to be used in a court of law. Yeah, right. He's a super criminal. We've uh, got we've got it recorded. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. By the way, the Northampton does not own a helicopter. That's a state police. It's the only one. They only have, they're the only ones with a police helicopter. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's a tiny you have, and can we get a helicopter? Well, what's our treasures? Me. How much money do we have? I'm not sure. <laughs> I, think, I think it's oh, a great treasure. Uh, <laughs> actually, Ms. Murphy uh, should probably uh, help you. <laughs> yeah, it used to be Korean, but she's gone, so it's a work from the market now. I have no idea. I'm the treasurer. We should just call the mayor's office. I think it's somewhere like it's two good. grand or a little more than like one. Really? I thought it was over two no, 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 or close to two. Yeah, I'm going 1,876. We could get an RC helicopter. Let's for everybody. Uh, wait, everybody write down guesses. Check uh, of how much money we have. And whoever gets the closest gets it. Twenty one thousand. Two thousand and one though. John, what's your guess? If it's over two thousand, I think we'll be the closest. John. Fourteen sixty one. Okay, Jack. Two thousand and one dollars. Seven thirty nine fourteen. Seven. Do you think we have seventy-three thousand? No, 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 no. Seven hundred thirty-nine dollars. Dollars fourteen cents. Oh. What you mean that we spent? I was like, we don't have seventy-three thousand dollars. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. I have it written down. We 
John said 1461. <laughs> the treasure is a bit messy. We're good. All right, 1750. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have it written down. No, don't look. No, we're waiting until next time. 1750. Okay. Totally knows. Totally knows. He lowballed you that one. Okay. Put yeah. parentheses, 1,900 next to my name. No, you yeah. must choose. Yeah, throw a one in front of my name. <laughs> throw a one? No way! Yeah. <laughs> well, you're lowest, so it's fine. It could be lowest or highest. Wait, yeah. so, which is it? God. <laughs> the, the tension, you can cut it I feel that. like I should do 1,900 because he's too close. Okay, let's go 1,900. Do you have a guess? 1,918. Uh, I'm okay. not a voting member, so it would be inappropriate for me. No, I want to know your guess. <laughs> uh, um, Two thousand twenty-six dollars. Oh, okay. okay. I was also feeling twenty-one hundred, but. Okay. okay. Anyway, so actual other stuff. Wasn't there a resolution the city council passed recently? The trust resolution actually came and was proposed and, and was voted on the last council. And um, which one? And? Which one? Which That's one? the one about police. Actually, it was coincidental the night that Barack Obama was announcing his immigration policy, which coincides exactly with what our trust ordinance, our trust resolution yeah. was, Easy. which was no reporting to uh, ICE, um, uh, the, 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 the immigration co uh, customs enforcement. Uh, anyone who's pulled over for a non-criminal offense. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that's the mayor's policy that we supported in a resolution. We discussed a little bit here, but it didn't get to go before you guys. Um, so that doesn't matter for us. I'm trying to yeah. think, is there anything else that we can kind of, because it would be nice if we could work on something other than well, trying to get concept. No, re relative to the solid waste issue, which was uh, styrene and plastic bags, the last I heard is now being proposed to just be plastic bags. Which is well, that was the fourth time it's changed. So that, that it went from it went from polystyrene to including polystyrene in plastic bags. Now it's eliminating polystyrene and it's to plastic bags. I don't know where it is. It's on the table. It's all over the place. It's a little bit confusing to say the least. Uh, but the discussion of of, uh, of a point of sale plastic bag. So point of sale is where you pay your money at the cash register. So those plastic bags would be. Um, so everywhere, like Sound Shop. Um, yeah, yeah, all all stores, retail stores, and other stuff. But we'll see. I don't even know what it is right now. I don't even know if it's an official proposal, so we'll find out. And you guys did all the work on Styrofoam, and they've eliminated Styrofoam from the, the from the resolution. Go oh, us. So, so. Because they thought it didn't have more of an impact. They, you know, it was based mostly on that Boston Globe article where it said it's six of one half dozen of another. You eliminate styrofoam, but you create other issues that are just as bad. Well, I think, it, you know, the thing is, I think we proved that that Only was the case. I, 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 I think it's just sort of like if people want to cheat the system, then that's what happens. And I think that's what, that, I mean, that was my opinion when I read the Boston Globe article. It was like, well, yeah, but people will just cheat the system. I don't think that's true for a lot of people that are on the edge and stuff. Right, and given the fact, as you pointed out, that not many people do use it. I have to. So, um, but yeah, well, we'll eventually we'll get those sponsors in here. You guys can give a piece of your mind, share what you think about that. So. Sounds good. Do we have other issues going on in the city? I, what is, I mean, we can bring something else. There's something else that we could definitely work on right now. It would be nice. Well, I mean, it's interesting because this bench then, well, as I said, coincides with the fact that the community's especially concerned about what's going to happen with downtown now that the bid doesn't exist. So this actually plays into that. There was a casino is about to break ground in Springfield, uh, Spring, I think. Um, that that's going to present some unique challenges to Northampton. And then there was talk about a casino opening up in Hartford, and that one in Albany. Yeah, I thought they already had one in Hartford. No. no, they have two in Connecticut, but not. Yeah, oh, Foxwoods and Pawnee. Is that not in Hartford? No, they want to get it closer to Springfield because they, they're worried that they're going to lose 
gamblers to Springfield. Now, mind you, all casinos have been losing money for the last three or four years, but why they decide expanding them more. But then Albany is going to approve I have one. So there's going to be a lot of casinos around. <sighs> I gotta head out, okay. but have fun discussing it. <laughs> yeah, discussing we maybe, the the way, like, maybe our last thing to talk about then is like our uh, our uh, number of people coming this year has dwindled from last year and has not stayed consistent. I thought we were pretty consistent last. Uh, well, no, I will not say we were, we we had a consistent group and that definitely fluctuated. We had that one time where we had like. 30 people. Yeah, that was ridiculous. <laughs> and then, like, none of those same people came back. But I would say we had at least 12 I people. I think recruitment every is honestly, like, kind of, like, nothing. Like, what? Like, it doesn't work. Like, hasn't worked. Like, we've put announcements in the bulletin that are, like, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you got audience. People with Foster reading them every morning. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> And just, like, brings one person to the next meeting. Just like find somebody. Like kidnap them, Jack. Just like find somebody. You know, no, no, they're willing to come to the one meeting and try it out. And then just like bring one. Uh, I'm going to try and put in the bulletin again anyway. Like, I don't know how many people we have. We like, I, 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 we have so many people out there that just yeah, have like the most heated opinions about everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so sick and tired of listening to them. I want them to do something yeah. about it. Plus, the thing is, you hear someone giving a heated opinion about something particularly relevant to the city. Just yeah. say it like put it Just in say, like a own it, own it, and come and talk about it. You have an opportunity to do something with that. So if you put up or shut up, stop your whining, show up. Do we want to maybe think of some people we can like specifically target to try and get time here? <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like yeah. let's be honest, we could convince a lot. Like, you're gonna announce it from the youth commission. Oh, yeah. Jonathan yeah. Goldman, join. Yeah. Like, make stuff like that. Okay, okay wait, sure. Probably should get eighty other kids to join. Yeah. Hey, right, so we can definitely <laughs> get. <laughs> Elias did come. Um, as much as I like Ezekiel's brother or whatever his name is, he is um, he's hard to work with because he is not very good at listening. He's watching, right? I, that's <laughs> why, no, he, he, he's not good at listening to other people's opinions, which makes it impossible to ever work with him. Sorry, so, and I'm not sorry about that if you're be listening to me. Well, I mean, that, you know, that's okay, too. I mean, I understand, you, you, you know, what you don't want is someone hijacking whole meeting just talking about what they think. The that, well, I mean, that's what he does like, in a discussion. It's so what, what happened? Is the young Republican still a, an entity there? Is it, I, I, don't say, I, I don't think they were really ever an entity. It was, it was, it was, a, it was, it was more of a, we want to go against sort of the North Hampton High School kind of. I right. yeah, we want, we want to be like something else. They just kind of, yeah, they kind of establish themselves and they like, don't really do anything. Um, I can talk to, I mean, I see Liam, like, we like coach basketball together. So Liam did come more than once. Shane, did Liam ever even come? I remember Shane. Well, there was that like meeting last year where like a lot of people came. Well, that was when we were talking about this. It was a little like. Yeah. That was the stormwater meeting and we got, they didn't really, really show Shane, for Shane that. Shane didn't really come, he didn't do anything. And but, Liam didn't come. Liam was just complaining that he doesn't do anything. You know, okay, so Liam. Okay, wait, we're, we're gonna we're gonna leave first. So so Jack Jack, you are on Liam and Shane. Okay, let me get to someone else other than Elijah. Can we get like? I mean, is there anyone like we shouldn't get? Can we just like? I kind of like the idea that everyone try to like get one person. Well, that's what I let's, let's, but let's try and think of like some because if we just say like oh, like you can try and get anyone, but let's try and think of like some just people in mind that. You have so I mean, many out, so outside, outside of our friend. Yeah, we need more people. Well, like, it, you don't have to work on so If someone scares the bejesus out, he doesn't show up some more every now and then, or just someone's really scary. Like, who's someone big? Like, Nick Well, someone big, someone who doesn't really care about stuff <laughs> like this, <laughs> who might be, you know, just an opportunity to. Someone might be at risk of dropping out or something or anything like that. or. Yeah. I don't have like any of those, like I, I live in like an isolated area. <laughs> I was talking to my parents yesterday and I was like, I have no friend other than people that like, just like me at the high school. And it's like, at first I was like, well it's probably just cause it's just like me and her blah blah blah, but it's like, our school is so like, 
we've got to be 98 percent white and yep. like <laughs> that's right like 80 percent middle class or yep. something like that yep and like we have a Seneca. 200 percent like atheist but we also yeah, go, go to like church or, or, right. or, or exactly. something so no like, you just describe the the like but the fact is, that we have no Latinos. We have no one from, uh, as I said, from Smithville. We have no one from um, uh, LGBT community who might, who, you know, might be outspoken about that. What about Cap? Oh, who's the one in our stats class? Megan. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I'll ask Cap and Megan. So I may mean, just, you know, actually. We, does anyone here have connections to Smith Oak in any way? Luke Felton. I will ask Luke Felton. Because I, I talked to the superintendent, he said he would find people for me. I haven't seen Boo or Boo. What's the 18? It's always been frustration. Yeah, 18. 18, they have to be Northampton residents. So that's one of the tricky things with Smith Oak because it's, it's only like 12% of. Maybe like a history teacher there. Like they still have like history classes and stuff. Yeah. Because the history, I mean, that's normally like. Oh yeah, civics current events. Or, or, yeah, civics. Like Mahar. Yeah. Maybe I can send, I'll send Why don't you like tell Mr. Mahar and we'll like appreciate his classes. You should tag him. Yeah, Mahar, he doesn't really care about anything. Though. That's the only thing. Yeah, no, I think we should find one or two teachers just like advertise it for us. Yeah, who, who does, does, teach, does anyone teach civics or? or uh, Bal- like, I mean, we could say that Bal- Baldwin's sort of like, Baldwin? I feel like he could get people to do it. Yeah, Biggs is probably just three inches. Is anyone taking Biggs right now? I don't know. Yeah. Wait, have have any of you three? Have any of you three had Biggs? Yeah. Have any of you three had Baldwin? Not Baldwin. I haven't actually had Baldwin. Have any of you three know Baldwin? Like, talk to him before. I mean, I have parents, so I feel like I'm a shaker. Okay, do which one of you three would like to talk to Biggs and say, can you yell at people in your class about this? I get it. Okay. I'll watch. <laughs> Document it. You gotta take it. I We should bring it up tomorrow. Jack, do you wanna hit up, wanna hit up parent? Yeah. Or Ben Baldwin? Ask him like in front of the class. Remember, pitch the, you know, you can pitch the bench yeah. and you can pitch the landfill issue. Yeah. yeah. Pitch. So say, say those things when you talk yeah. to all these like, people. Have Henry Young Youth Commission instead of race war. Yeah. So no further, yeah. yes. no further word from uh, I can drag the prevention yeah. coalition. Yeah. The no, yeah. I think after pro, I think it's after 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 we said the thing like, right. well, unless you have something there, just like I think like, well, like, well, like, well, like, well, like I think I think there was the response was we could bring cook we could bring pizza, but otherwise never mind. I didn't even. <laughs> that was all that well, said. Out, she needs juice. juice. I feel like drinks are better than. Yeah, I'd rather have mm-hmm. juice than like. I'd rather have like. Like the Starbucks gave last time. That, that was. I would say that was pretty inspirational. Because you know how like like, like like talk shows they have like you know the mug of water that like no one ever drinks but yeah. it's like there. I actually <laughs> have I have cases of mugs from my radio show that we, I got fired before we got to give away. I can't bring me those in. We can have that one not so far that no one can actually read. What's the here and they decide they're interested and they want to join? What's the. Well, a lot of the announcements say, like, talk to like John Goldman, but if they're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, and, like, and also, if they have no idea who you are, they're like, not. I, right. People know who I am. But I'm saying, like, I don't know, if they say, like, talk to so and so, and they're like, I don't know who that is, or like, they're a senior, I'm not going to, like, go just, like, be like, Try to like hunt them down at school yeah. and be like, hey, I'm interested. Well, the thing is, I mean, the big selling point is advising the mayor, advising the city council, and talking about issues that, that upset you perhaps or that you feel that things that need to be changed in town, you can talk about those things you and like, actually debate those points. They're pretty much just put targets in the bulletin and yeah. we'll have a basic yeah, you can talk about, and actually, you know, and that's something to discuss, actually, Ferguson, and now the other issue is the guy who is in Staten Island, uh, there was no prosecution for the chokehold there. So it, it is clearly there, are, I mean, you can talk about white privilege, you can talk about uh, police enforcement, you can talk, we, we can actually have those discussions on the agenda if you want to talk about those. Um, 
I mean, that's that's part of what it is. We haven't gone there recently for a while. We, I mean, but it's a worthy discussion. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I one thing. This is something we could talk about. Is so. My one thing. I, I have no idea what ended up happening at the. I don't know what you call it, protesting that happened north that we did in Northampton, students and people and whatever. But my one thing that I wished, and one my one problem with Northampton is we kind of sometimes pretend that we don't have the same problems here. Right. And I'd, I'd like to point out that the way that we treat um, Florence Heights and uh, what's the other Heights? Hampshire Heights. <laughs> Hampshire Heights in the news and the way they're talked about in the schools, and I'm sure in the rest of the city, is definitely we're not We're so liberal equal. that we're not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's not an uncommon problem. This is that smug liberalism where you start to feel that, yeah, we're a very, we're a diverse community, one point of fact, we're not very diverse. Yeah, we're so, so accepting that if you see someone downtown in a tux, you're like, yeah, where did he come from? <laughs> <laughs> Working class. Right. It's, 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 Class issues are important discussions that no one ever talks about. We do talk about racial disparity and gender issues, but we rarely talk about class because the United States isn't supposed to have class, but we do. We clearly have class We're distinctions, which is one of the things like getting Smith Vocational yeah. in here, getting some kids to talk about the class issues, is they clearly feel, I know kids have always felt that they're somehow second-ranked citizens compared to the high school, for instance, because the high no. school is considered the privileged enclave and you go even further with Willison or some of the other surrounding schools, primarily white, middle class, as you said, and, uh, and, and there are other people that who feel ostracized. And we have trouble talking about it. And we also, at the same time, we feel pretty smug. I mean, you know, protesting against what occurred in Ferguson is a, actually reasonable and thoughtful, but the fact is it doesn't cause us to give a lot of reflection on it how we conduct ourselves here in an all-white community where we're preaching to the choir, yelling in echo chambers. We're just saying stuff to 90% of the town nods their heads and goes, yeah, I agree with you. You don't have the conflict. Yeah. And consequently, you don't get the challenging debate and discussion forcing you to think things out. Now, I've, I've always identified, I'm clearly left. I've never hid that, I'm crazy left. In fact, Democrats denounce me, but the the fact is, is that I also think that it's really critical to have a diversity of opinions, and we don't we don't we don't do so well in that in the community, and consequently we don't do so well with it here. Um, That's why it's kind of hard to get like diverse, like right. people. It's it's tough. I mean, it's a hard sell. I mean, honestly, people I, come I, here are like, oh, improving my resume, but like exactly. kids who like aren't going to college are not yeah, like, oh that, wow, I want to like build. My exactly, life. that's the hard sell. Exactly, for people who need extra curriculum credit, if you could apply for a good college and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah this is a no-brainer, 